Now, welcome back. Um, fresh from film in the inbox review, we're ready to start this build. And I'm actually quite keen to get going with this build. Purely because it's a brand new or reasonably new kit. And it's a scale I've been really interested in getting involved with. And yeah, I just want to see how border models stack up. So this is 2023. It's a 2023 kit, I think. Doesn't give you a copyright on it, but I think it was tooled in 2023. So, looking at the instructions, part one is the engine build. So it's frame D we're looking for. So let me move the rest of this kit out of the way. We'll find frame D and we'll get going. There we go, frame D. Right, it's a plastic and everything everywhere. Gonna use trusty old Tamiya Extra Thin. And I've got my trusty old uh, Citadel nippers. Right, engine half, so here we go. This will be a new one for me because it wasn't. I don't think I've actually um, gone through a build where I'm you're watching me cut parts out, but well, why not try something different? So, first parts off the sprues. We've got nice broad locating tabs on them. And uh, yeah, they fit together not bad, actually. I'll take that. Looks like the bottom end of a Merlin. Or V12. Yeah, they go together nicely. Right, I haven't, you'll notice I haven't cleaned away any of the uh, nubs. We'll do that once the glue's cured up. So, in there with the extra thin, run it down the seam. That's the beauty with extra thin, isn't it? Gentle push together. Happy as Larry. Now we can go back in if we want. Just touching on the inside of the engine. Bit of extra glue in. So far so good. Right, next part is D42, which is the air intake manifold. And then we need D36 which is the reduction gearbox and spine drive for the prop. And then we've also got the HT lines going on. Right, let me a file. There we go. Right, so I tend to use these square files. I uh, find they uh, cut the plastic nice and cleanly, but also you'll get a square surface. Right, so orientate the engine in line with the instructions, orientate the top part in line with the instructions. I think it will only fit one way, we can test that and fit it the wrong way so it won't actually fit the wrong way it'll only fit one way so which is good makes it a little bit simple and i like simple things less to go wrong locks in nicely we can get the glue touch and flow and we'll run it down the top Now, give it a gentle squeeze. Make sure the part's lined up sensibly. Happy enough. Now, I'll be honest with you, I'm not too fussed about the engine because I'm not going to have 
the engine cowls open. I'll have it all closed away. But we'll build the engine anyway because it's part of the structure of the kit. I may even take time to give it a quick paint. Right, you see on this here that there are nubs in between the detail parts. So you'll need a scalpel. So what have I got here? It's a number 26 blade on a number four handle. You get that point in there and just trim away the nub with the scalpel blade. Minimal pressure so it doesn't cut through and we lose any other detail. Same on this side. And on the top. That's it. And then this part just glues straight on to the engine block, like so. Again, touch and flow. This plastic seems to quite like Tamiya Extra Thin. Right, so we're looking at D33, which is the central HT line. Runs down the inner parts of the Vs. So, for anyone that doesn't know, the uh, aero engines have two sets of spark plugs. So two plugs for each cylinder. So you had plugs on the inside wall and plugs on the outside wall. So it's all about your redundancy for aviation safety. So that part goes on like that. And then we've got D19 and then D13. So D19 is here. I'm assuming it is one either side. Really quite nice plastic. It's yeah, reminiscent of Academy plastic. It's maybe also reminiscent of Meng, possibly even Tacom. So a good pair of sharp side cuts is what you want. Follow that up with either a scalpel or um A scalpel or a file just to take away any parting mark that you've got on the plastic. And to be fair, it looks like that if you wanted to display this engine or this aircraft with an engine exposed, I think there's enough detail on this engine to make it look very interesting and that's before you know adding extra copper wires and whatnot right be aware of I'll tell you what i need to do let's change my glasses i, know I couldn't see Put my reading glasses on oh, that's better right so be aware of where the locating holes are on the part in relation to the instructions so there's a piece that has no holes and that needs to go towards the rear of the engine and looking at it the the pins locating pins are molded in such a way you can't get this thing the wrong way around Again, nice touch from order. Let's make it idiot proof. Believe you me, I have done my share, fair share of idiocy in life. Right, so let's get both sides on. And then we can look at getting the HT parts on. So it's a nice fit. A bit of glue that is down solid All right so we want d13 for this side to so the left side of the engine and i'd imagine then it could be d14 for the right side and these are really delicate parts so 
So definitely need a good pair of side cutters. Um, I do have the display ones, single edge cutters. They might be handy for such delicate parts. Uh, so I've managed to break it. There we go. So delicate parts, they most certainly are. Right, this will only go on one way. I'll try and zoom in a bit here for you. Right, it'll only go on one way. And these parts actually lock in to the rail there, but they also lock in to two locating points on the engine block. So the thing with this is just get it as close as you can and then once you're there, yeah, look at that, just pops in. Nice fine point of tweezers, all marries up beautifully. Yeah, I'm impressed with that. And then there you can see the broken bit. So we can recover that off the frame and we'll stick that in and repair that one. So. Tiny, tiny part. You do need a decent pair of tweezers. Yep, pain in the hoop. Total pain in the extremity. say nonsense to it and not do it but in the interest of completeness I'm not boring you all the tears I'll try and get that in which try being a definite word load it up with some glue yeah, pain in the hoop Total pain in the hoop. So golden rule number one, don't break the part. Number two, don't break the part. Right, get that in there. There we go. And there we go. Right, I'm going to finish building this engine and then we'll take it from there. Welcome back, guys. Um, so we've moved through the instructions and we have completed the engine. Um, I'm no expert on a Merlin, but it looks like a Merlin to me. Whether it's in scale or correct, I don't know. And to be honest with you, not fussed. Um, I'm going to be closing mine up anyway. But as it's an intrinsic part of the structure of the aircraft, it needs being made. And I will take the time to paint it up and give it a bit of detail just to see how it looks when it's finished. Got the engine cradle made as well. I've kept that separate to paint separate because it's obviously interior green and most of this will be painted um, semi-gloss black. Right, moving on from the engine, we then start part two, which is the cockpit. 